Hi guys, Exaltec here. We can add two numbers without the addition operator. But how? In order to know more about it, let us consider the truth table of the half addition where we can clearly see that the sum of those two variables x and y is actually the XOR operation of those two variables x and y. Also, the carry is actually the AND operation of x and y. So keeping this, we can form our own algorithm and write our program in any programming language in order to add two numbers without the plus operator. Say for example, let me write a program in Python and define a function named add with two parameter. In the first line, let me include a condition inside the while loop which is y not equal to zero and I will tell you the reason for including this condition later. And as we know from the truth table, the carry variable is actually the AND operation of those two operands x and y and the sum of those two operands is actually the XOR operation of those two operands and let me assign it to one of the operands itself say for example let me assign it to x and for the second variable we can assign the carry variable with the bit shifted towards left so when the bit is shifted towards left when the sum is over the y will become zero and this is the reason behind why I included the condition as y not equal to zero and finally written the variable x from the function which is actually the result of addition of those two numbers and when I call this function with any two numbers inside the parameters the sum of those two numbers will be resulted in the screen so here it is 30. Alternatively, we can simplify this algorithm by using the negative sign. The negative of minus x and minus y will result in the sum of x and y. But when we consider the subtraction of those two numbers x and y, we can consider the truth table of the half subtraction where the difference is as same as the sum of x and y which is the XOR operation of those two variables. But when we consider the borrow variable, it differs a bit. It is the AND operation of complement of x and y. So we can subtract two numbers without minus sign by making minor changes to the function that we created for addition without plus. So in the function header, instead of the word addition, we can use the word subtraction as an identifier. And in the next line, the condition will be the same while y not equal to zero. And in the next line, instead of the word carry, we'll be using borrow because there it was the sum of two numbers and we'll be carrying the numbers but here we will be borrowing numbers since we are finding the difference of two numbers and instead of x we will be using complement of x here according to the truth table of the half subtraction so borrow will be complement of x and y and in the next line we'll be assigning the xor operation of those two operands to any of those two variables say for instance let me assign it to x and for the second variable y, we'll be assigning the borrow variable with the bit being shifted towards the left. So according to this, when there are no bits to borrow, then the difference operation will be terminated and via the written statement, the value x, which is actually the difference of those two numbers x and y will be written. And when I print this using the print function in Python or any other language, the difference of those two numbers without the minus sign will be displayed in the screen. Now, when we consider multiplication of two numbers, say x and y, it is actually meant x times y, and when we sum up y up to x times, this will be the result of multiplication of those two numbers x and y. So using this simple algorithm, let me write a function in Python. So first of all, let me assign a variable with zero so that I'll be using this variable as a temporary variable to add up y continuously x times. And next line in the while loop, let me include a condition while x not equal to zero so that we'll be decrementing x every time when y is being added up. So I'm using s plus equal to y, the add assignment operator, and the y will be added continuously and stored in the variable s. And in the next line, I'll be decrementing the x as there is no decrement operator in Python, I'm using the subtraction assignment operator x minus equal to 1, which is x equal to x minus 1 and it will be decremented every time. And finally, when we written the variable s, the multiplication of those two numbers will be printed on the screen. 
Finally, when we consider division, we know that quotient into divisor plus remainder will be equal to dividend. But since we are dealing with integer only, we will be truncating the remainder here and we will be incrementing the quotient by 1 until the dividend becomes less than the divisor. So using this as our algorithm, we can form our own function in any programming language. And now let me write my own function in the Python. For better understanding, I am replacing the identifiers x and y with the short forms of the words dividend and divisor and we will be using the absolute forms, only the positive forms of those two numbers dividend and divisor because when we use the negative forms, this can make the algorithm go wrong. So in order to deal with the sign and the result of the division, we will be introducing a new variable here, let me name it sign itself and it would be negative if either of the operands are negative, either the dividend is negative or the divisor only is negative, then the sign of the division will be negative. If both the operands are negative or if both the operands are positive, then certainly the result of the division will be with positive sign. So in order to deal with that, I am using the if condition here and hope you can understand just by watching through your screens. We will be multiplying the sign variable with the quotient while returning the result. And now let us assign the variable quotient with 0 and every time during the operation we will be incrementing it. And in the next line let me include a while loop with the condition dividend greater than or equal to divisor. So that when the dividend becomes less than the divisor the operation will be terminated and the quotient will be printed on the screen. In the first line of this block, I am finding the difference of the dividend and the divisor and I am assigning it to the dividend itself so that for every time when this operation happens the quotient is incremented using the add assignment operator and when the dividend becomes less than the divisor the loop will be terminated and finally we can return the value q into sign where the sign will be multiplied with the quotient and finally the result will be along with the negative or the positive sign according to the operands which we use. So this is all about doing arithmetic operations without using their corresponding operators. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video then do consider subscribing to the channel. I'm Deepak and this is Excel Tech. I'll catch you guys in the next one.